Hi, and welcome to Hoffman's Hot Seat. I'm Tom Hoffman with One to One Media, coming to you from the Gartner Customer 360 Summit in Los Angeles. With me today is Brian Comer, Vice President of Research at Bovisi. Today we'll be discussing opportunities for marketing leaders to apply enterprise feedback management to social media to gain additional insights into customer preferences. Brian, thanks a lot for joining us today. Tom, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. So I, I guess to start, what, what are some opportunities you're seeing for applying enterprise feedback management to social media in general? Well, we see really uh, two things that are important. First, to be able to use social media to listen to what people are saying. So in the context of what we've done traditionally, and I've been in market research for a long time, and we used to do things like focus groups, which was a great way of understanding what questions should we even be asking in a survey or some type of consolidated listening effort? Yeah. Think of it now as social media being able to listen into the conversations of all of your customers and then being able to understand what's on their minds and then survey them about it. It's very, uh, very much more efficient, uh, much more uh, time compressed, uh, and also far cheaper uh, than doing it the traditional way. Sure. Can you point to any examples of, of your customers that have been able to apply this? Yeah, I think uh, one of them that I point to, in fact, they presented at our user conference several weeks ago, is National Public Radio. They have a panel of, uh, I believe right now they've got 20,000 people who are part of their community. And by the way, this is worldwide. It is not just the United States. They listen into what's going on. They participate with them. They have conversations with them. And then they survey them based upon what they hear those conversations to be. It's proven for them to be an important way to manage the type of pro programming that they're doing, make changes to the programming based upon customer input, and then be able to use it as this constant feedback loop. They're no longer just putting their fingers on their pulse every once in a while of the customer or the listener. They're doing it on a consistent basis. It's making a big, big difference in terms of how they are handling the type of programming that they're putting out there. Should, when evaluating social media and considering enterprise feedback management, should decision makers view it any differently than other uh, channels that they might be trying to gather feedback from customers on? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, many of them do view it differently because they're quite concerned about, well, what about the loss of control that comes with opening up? Um, I heard a great quote the other day, and I can't take credit for it. Uh, it Professor Moira Clark at uh, uh, Henley University in the UK did a piece of research, and the quote that, that came out of it was, the ants have megaphones. And I love that because I think it really does capture uh, what is going on, and it makes people afraid. But on the other hand, people have to keep on mind that people are talking about them anyway, whether they want them to or not. So they have to embrace it, they have to be able to use it to be able to get that that feedback that they're looking for to listen in on what's going on and then direct it to the right people over a period of time. So it, it's listen, do some additional quantitative work against what you hear because you could be listening to an outlier and then be able to use that to make some decisions for your business. Okay. So for decision makers that are new to all this, what are some recommended starting points? Um, don't be afraid. Um, uh, go with the process in terms of understanding and just listening first. Start with listening and then you can move to a, a point where you start to have conversations with the people who are part of your community, however you define it. And then you can move to a point where you can uh, evolve to allow your members to interact with each other. So do it in an incremental fashion. It's not as scary as it seems and there is a self-healing quantity to, to the uh, entire process so that when bad things happen, they have a tendency not to be uh, the, the types of things that executives ultimately will get, will have huge liability for, but the community itself, if uh, you are being treated unfairly, will uh, in many cases uh, beat back some of the unfair things that are being said. So uh, start off slow, have a plan, and be able to use that to do it in an incremental fashion, and you don't have to jump into the deep end of the pool, dip your toe into the water. Great advice. Well, Brian, thanks a lot for your time today. Thank you very much.